Hello again, uh, this is a follow-up to my uh, multi-level terminal handling in ePlant P8 uh, video. And, and in this uh, video, I'd like to show you how to use a little script uh, that I have created and that is uh, available on my blog at uh, www.stlm.ca slash blog. So if you remember, the, uh, the situation is that in order for ePlan to consider multiple terminals as one single multi-level terminal, they need to be uh, properly ordered in the terminal strip. So for example, I'll just recreate the uh, terminal strip here, like this, tab, tab, shift, and like this. Now I have uh, my 12 terminals again inserted and they're all, they're all considered for now as individual terminals. So what we need to do first of all is to assign level information to each terminals. So the DC we said would be level one. The negative side of the DC will be level two. And then the signal will be level three. But if I look at my terminal strip right now in the terminal strip editor, I can see that they are not properly ordered. For ePlan to consider them as one single terminal, they would need to be ordered uh, at the level uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So what would you, you would normally do is split those terminals and then move them with the arrows up and down which is good if you only have a few terminals like in my sample, but it can become tedious very rapidly if you have many or let's say dozens of terminal inside your strip. Uh, so I'm going to undo that. So in my previous video, what I showed you could do is to assign a sort code to each group of three terminals. For example, one, two and nine and then three, four and ten. And assigning this sort code will make it so that ePlan will sort the terminals automatically for you in the editor. But this is tedious, again, because you have to manually enter it like 0, 1, 2, 3, and you have to remember where you're at. Uh, so if I look at my terminal strip now, I can see that it, it has properly been assigned, and I can even see the li little... Uh, icon here or graphic showing the, the, the level information, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which is good. So I'm going to undo that again. And now I'm going to use a little script that I've created. And again, it is available on my blog. And now all I have to do is select each group. Uh, I can even include the, uh, the sensor, it doesn't matter. And I can simply call it like this, set sort code utilities set sort code, or I can even use a shortcut key that I assign to my script, Alt S, Alt S, which is much quicker. And if I look at my terminal strip again, there we see it has been properly sorted. So again, if I undo that and look at my strip, you can see that it is, uh, hold on, let me undo once more. So if I look at my strip now, I can see that it's not properly ordered. Now I'm going to run my little script like this, like this, like this, and like this. And now my terminal strip is properly ordered and the jumpers are properly inserted. These are saddle jumpers, by the way. So uh, again, if you want to consult uh, my blog at uh, www.stlm.ca slash blog, where you can download uh, this script and uh, use it uh, to have a better handling of your multi-level terminals. Uh, in a subsequent video, I will sh talk about a, an API solution uh, as opposed to a scripted solution like what I have today. And uh, I will show you how to use it and explain how to obtain the, the API solution as well. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, that's it for now. Ciao.